Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I'm getting a lot of like mixed energy, but you're going to know what I'm talking about. There would have been like something that was going on that you would have been able to see. And I am getting this like a continuation from my last reading. It's like a continuation of what was happening because on my last reading, you came out with the uh, Knight of Cups energy with an Ace of Pentacles. So I wanted to get some more energy about what this offer was, what type of invitation proposal was. I did tell you that it came from a Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody was being unrealistic. I was telling you, and it's coming out in the energy of the cards as a confirmation of what I pulled yesterday. Y'all, here we go. Somebody, whoever that person was, took a two of swords in the reverse energy. They decided to take an action, right, to face their problem. And to them, the problem was you, okay? They wanted to keep going with some type of Queen of Wands in reverse energy. I'm getting heavy bullying heavy like it is like somebody is triggered by you and i'm literally getting this person was triggered by you it's your light collective it's your light people were triggered by your light because you came out in my last reading and i kept telling y'all it had everything to do with your spiritual purpose the fact that you're disciplined in your energy and other people don't know how to discipline themselves with anything in relationships and work situations, friend and family situations, they don't know how to discipline themselves, but you're the walking example on how to do it, right? You got a shadow, but you know how to balance it. You don't move in negativity. This person does. This Queen of Wands in reverse person, I will tell you I'm getting other energy that's carrying this Queen of Wands in reverse energy, but whoever this particular person is, this is like the, the person who was just like, no, this is the decision I need to make and i'm getting like somebody i heard glamour so i'm like right off the bat collective i'm getting some type of magician in the reverse energy going on it's clear your energy you're fine and none of that junk was going to hurt you anyway okay fake fake witches and warlocks okay this queen of wands and uh, reverse person this is somebody who is envious and jealous of you which is why i heard in the downloads triggered this person absolutely is triggered by you because they're envious and jealous of you and they're insecure as all get out because you stand firm, you stand tall, you took your power back and that makes them insecure. That makes them triggered. Yeah, somebody was triggered, period, point blank. They were triggered by you. That's why they decided to make uh, continue taking an action to keep going with this particular energy. Even though this is uh, one particular person, I am getting other people were involved in this too because they wanted some type of victory and recognition for treating you this way, right? And again, my download, I'm, I'm getting like something, it's like undercover, like it's a cover up. It, it would have been covert. It would, you would have seen it, but it was something covert about this energy. It was like slick dissing you. Um, I heard glamour in the download. So some type of glamour was going on. There was a magician in the reverse energy that was going on behind this queen of wands in reverse, even though the queen, um, the magician in the reverse energy is not on the board. Um, at this time I am getting, I heard glamour. So somebody did something covert, a, a slick disc, a slick move. I'm also hearing, I'm hearing like doors slamming or like somebody like it's what I'm hearing and, and I'm getting visions about it. It's like somebody who like they're like being messy like being messy on purpose but like being messy in like a nice nasty way this is how it's coming across because they think you're the problem but again it was covered up right so it's a nice nasty bully they want some type of victory by doing this nice nasty problem is page of pentacles in the reverse that was a whole waste of time they were wasting their time their effort their energy and their breath all because they were triggered by their insecurities about you Right. It's somebody who keeps wanting that perpetual competition because we did have the four pinnacles in reverse come out on my last reading. Their insecurities run them. People, man, y'all, I'm telling you, your energy is powerful. Your energy is powerful enough to trigger people's insecurities and they don't even know that they're insecure about you. These are literally a person and or people that just walk around being mad all day and they don't even know why they're mad. They don't. Y'all, I'm literally getting confirmations about what's going on here and I can't wait to get in my downloads because this is confirming what is coming through in the energy. It was a whole waste of time for somebody to be moving with the seven of pentacles in the reverse. They were still frustrated. They gave up too early or they were moving too fast. And I'm getting like somebody like not just being messy. Somebody likes to like sh slam doors, shuffle things in a house, like just make noise on purpose. Who is this? Like I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I can see this person. It's like somebody slams doors on purpose just to be petty. 
right? This is somebody who like, uh, like does things like actions and like getting an action, like stupid stuff just to get attention on them, to get recognition on them, just because they want to try to be like a, like a bully or petty person. So this is what I'm getting in the energy. It's like some slick, nice, nasty, messy energy that this person had all because they were frustrated. They're moving in their frustration. So any action, any words that they would said will be moving in that, in that uh, triggered energy because they didn't want to change. They wanted to stay in the past. They're resisting your energy. They're resisting your light collective. And I'm just tell you point blank, they're resisting your spiritual journey. And I've got a lot of in, a lot of downloads about this particular thing, because this literally is what I'm getting the death in the reverse to the ace of cups. Y'all, I had a vision of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And when I got that vision, you guys, I heard they wanted war. Y'all, and this is where my downloads are getting like powerful because here's the problem. The fact that the death and reverse card is coming out right under the Queen of Wands of reverse, the energy of resisting change. They were resisting the change that you were meant to bring into the situation, right? They were resisting and uh, bringing in the new energy. They were resisting you, whatever you were trying to do in the, in the situation, the person, place, or thing, however the situation resonates for you. They wanted to stay in the past. They don't like your energy. What they don't like is your light and i'm getting a confirmation with this ace of cups energy your light literally puts them in their feelings your light energy and this is where i got a confirmation after i heard that they wanted war and the fact that i saw the four horsemen of the apocalypse the reason why this energy is coming out they got a problem the fact that they declare war on a chosen one y'all this is a confirmation you are uh, you don't know who is protected by god okay all this negative energy, all because they're insecure and triggered about you, all because they hate your positivity, all because they hate the truth and they live in lies. These people live in the lies that they don't, they actually understand the truth about themselves. They, they don't know why they're mad. You just walk in the room and you upset people. It's their demons, okay? Your light triggers their demons. That is not just a saying. These people have no reason to come after you. These people declared war against you for being you living your life living your truth doing what god has told you to do in the most authentic peaceful prosperous way that you can that doesn't um, impede on anybody right the fact that you are moving in your truth in your light triggers people's demons so yeah i heard they were triggered it's your light doing a confirmation with the ace of cups energy yeah your light triggers their demons the problem is and this is a big problem and like it was like an uproar in the ethers because they declared war on a chosen one no 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 you don't get to have that go have several seats okay collective when people declare war on a chosen one that is when your spiritual team backs you up god is already on your side in, in this situation you already have the truth and love on your side right this is when the archangels show up to, to back you this is where your ancestors show up to back you and i hear your ancestors they were screaming in this energy they declared war on this on this particular situation and that was not the right thing to do all because they're insecure all because they're jealous all because they're envious all because they're triggered by their own insecurities that have nothing to do with you this is why they carry the four of cups in reverse energy still right these people were still depressed your light irritates their demons okay and they got other people and i was telling y'all I, I even though this is one person up here this person got other people to go along with the plan it was a plan it was a plot it was a glamour told you this is all the energy that i'm getting it was a glamour they got other people to go against you right because they were all carrying hangman in the reverse energy they were all being stubborn against you so you had that same group right that you are over overcame the obstacles in my last energy yesterday you already overcame it these people are still triggered by your light they hate truth they hate love they hate you doing what you were called to do because god told you to do it and ain't none of their business if they're triggered by their own insecurities and they don't even understand why they don't like you come on collective they declare war on a chosen one and that is not allowed so says god i don't care how stubborn they're, they're trying to be these people did try to sacrifice you okay they did hangman in the reverse energy they did being very stubborn very selfish and was trying to be a martyr about something these people absolutely did try to sacrifice you and that is what i'm telling you in the downloads i don't make up nothing that i get they tried to sacrifice the chosen ones that is exactly why their energy 
all of this negative energy, all of this triggered energy got defeated. I got Archangel Michael out here and I got Archangel Gabriel out here that was here to defeat these particular energies. And you would have seen what was going on. There would have been a point where you would have acknowledged what was going on. You're just like, no, I'm getting like a stand up in your power energy. It's kind of like, no, when you understand that you are spiritually protected, divinely protected, you continue to move in your life purpose because that is where you're called to go. People's insecurities and why they're triggered about you ain't, ain't none of your business. Keep going forward, collective. Five of swords, this energy gets defeated. Archangel Michael does not play around like at all, okay? And the fact that what I'm getting, what defeated this also had to do with you. When you got that energy, it was like a green light for you. You took the full energy. You did something different. And I'm, I'm hearing how you did it in the downloads. This full energy is you, you know, taking a step out on faith, you know, doing something different, showing your innocence, showing your light, right? This is also doing something spontaneous. So I'm getting like you did something spontaneous to like stand up to this energy. Like, look, I ain't afraid of no ghosts, okay? Because <laughs> right now, all you're looking at is a bunch of people who are just walking around, triggered by their insecurities, and they don't like you for no reason, right? They hate you because they ain't you. The fact of the matter is that is not your problem. The Most High God has allowed you to do whatever you're doing because that is your life purpose. And I am getting that this is very, very spiritual for someone. And I've got some more downloads on this. But this full energy says you did something different, something spontaneous, right? To show your energy, to, to show your inno innocence, to show your light, right? To show your positivity, whatever it is. I heard something has to do with your personality. Okay, something has to do with your personality and I heard common ground. So it was kind of like you did something spontaneous to be like, hey, this is what the situation is. And it's like something about common ground. It's like looking for the lightness in the dark because you were called to bring light in the dark to light your way forward. When all of these negative energies around you, they're moving in their darkness and something was covert. And I'm like I said, this is very spiritual for somebody. I'm getting something has to do with your spirituality. Very, very heavy because this is coming to a tower for somebody. Told you, people don't understand how spiritually protected you are. The fact that there is a tower coming out because you did something. You did something in the way that they did not expect. You showed your light when they were had nothing but darkness around you, okay? The fact that you used your personality, your gift of gab, whatever it is to be at peace and common ground in this situation, how it's coming across in the download, you set your foundation. It's like you stood up to the bullying, you stood up to their antics, like, I'm not afraid of you. This is what it's gonna be, okay? This tower energy tells me that whatever you did with that full energy, they did not expect. They thought that you were going to be able to, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I've got a bunch of different people to go against you. They thought you were going to back down. You absolutely did not. That's why this tower is there for their energy. They did not expect the fact that you were moving in your power once again. Get them collective. And, and this is where it's like I was telling you guys over my last reading, take your power back. And I heard that you're on your throne and somebody wanted to kick you off of it. First of all, okay, collective, <laughs> the fact that you're the one moving in this emperor energy, you're the one that's in a position of leadership, power, and discipline and control here. You have the power over this energy. No matter what these particular people thought, no matter what the glamour was that they were trying to put over on you, trying to be nice, nasty, right? Trying to be petty and do stupid things around you. You're the one in control, right? And this is the fact that the, the fact that I'm getting in the downloads, they're trying to kick you off your throne. They're triggered and envious and jealous of you because they acknowledge you're on your throne. Come on, collective. And this has to do with your spiritual journey. And it's not that you walk around acting and talking about, oh, you're the leader, you're the leader. You could care less about a title if this resonates in the job. When the most high appoints you a leader in a situation, I don't care what the situation is, whether this is in a relationship, a friend or a family dynamic, a work situation, you're a leader by virtue by virtue, okay? Somebody wanted to kick you off of your throne, namely this King of Swords in reverse. You interacted with this particular person. I am getting that this is a masculine. This is the same masculine I keep, I keep picking up on. This is the same manipulative lion masculine that I'm getting. This might be a Scorpio, but this is somebody who plays head games, heavy on the sword in the inverse. This is somebody who is competing for your throne. This person is envious and jealous too. Every single person involved in the situation is envious and jealous of you because you're the emperor and they're not. Everybody hates you. I don't care what the situation is. Your ex, the karmic attached to your ex, your friends, your family members. It's always the people closest to you. Isn't that right, collective? Chosen ones always get this hatred out of nowhere. 
out of nowhere and you've done nothing to justify it. You just walk in the room, people hate you because you shine bright like a diamond, okay, collective? You walk around understanding your power and control, but it is disciplined, disciplined. Not whoever this King of Swords in reverse energy is, who is in addition to the Queen of Wands in reverse, in addition to the group that was around you, this person is in it too. This person is also a party and is also envious and jealous and triggered by you. This King of Swords in reverse, this is this exploitive, manipulative, lying, unfair person who does things to get their own gain. This person will exploit the mess out of you just like they're exploiting the mess out of these people. And I'm getting for some people, this masculine is behind it all, mm, okay? Whoever this particular masculine is, I'm getting that this person is behind it all. Heavy on if the fact that this is a Scorpio, we are in Scorpio season. Scorpios, and I was telling you guys that um, my reading yesterday, the day before, one of them, Scorpios, you know, they, they're comfortable with the light and the dark. They're also comfortable with uh, death energy, right? In all forms, they are comfortable with the darker side of life. So this is absolutely parlay to the, you know, the situation, right? This King of Swords and reverse energy would be, you know, behind the scenes, pulling the strings and watching it all play out. This is what this particular person does, exploiting the situation, all because every single person involved is triggered and in their feelings because you're outdoing them, you're outshining them, you're outworking them, you're outloving them, you're out supporting them, you're outdoing them on every single fight because that's what the virtues that God put in you. You cannot be a leader by a title and not be a leader by virtue. Sit down somewhere, boss. You cannot be a, a friend or a family member to claim you're there for that other friend or family member and not be there when you're needed, friend or family member. Come on, collective, you know where I'm going with this. I don't care what this is. You cannot claim to be upset triggered, bothered to be able to declare war to get the archangels upset enough to sit you all the way down with the tower because God says this one little old person that triggers the mess out of you and your insecurities is the real leader. Y'all, this is the energy that I'm getting. The fact that you have actually triggered something, you were moving in the energy that you were called to move, stand in your power because you have no idea how many people want to see you down bad? Don't give them the satisfaction. Let them sit in their insecurities because they don't even know why they hate you. They don't even know why. Starting to hate not, uh, at an absolutely no reason. This King of Swords in reverse energy, for some of you, and I'm getting a lot of you, this person is behind it. For others of you, I'm getting this Queen of Wands in reverse person went directly to this King of Swords to get them involved. However, the situation resonates, this King of Swords in reverse energy is involved. Everybody's triggered by the Emperor because they're all envious and jealous because they're not the leader. They're not in charge. They're not disciplined in your energy or in their energy just like you are. They want what you got. They hate you because they hate you. They hate you because of what you have and they want it for themselves. Especially this one right here, whoever the Scorpio masculine is. This person is hating on your higher font energy. And this is where my downloads are confirming. This is very spiritual for somebody because I'm getting downloads about it. Um, the first of the matter, this higher font energy does talk about spirituality, but it also talks about groups, right? We are in uh, you know, that uh, moon and Leo energy. So talking about who is the leader, this person is butthurt because they wanna be the leader so bad. They're triggered because they're not. And they're, they're seeing the fruits of your labor. They're seeing the fruits of the most high, your archangels and your ancestors protecting you, no matter what this insecure, jealous, envious person who wants to be a leader so bad. When God says you are who you are, you better believe it. I don't care how insecure and triggered you are. Go sit down. This higher front energy is the fact that your higher front energy is what this person is op in opposition to. Your spirituality. I'm getting like somebody hates your spirituality very specifically. I'm getting somebody either agnostic, they don't believe in the most high God or they claim to and their evil is all get out. They're moving in pure hatred, pure hatred. And this is not like a new topic, you know, having, you know, people who claim that they're, um, you know, very spiritual or the fact that there's like a religious difference in people and like they treat you with absolute hatred and malice out of no reason. It was completely unjustified. This is targeted, targeted, absolutely targeted because of their insecurities, their jealousy. Somebody hates you because you're a spiritualist and they're very religious. I'm, I'm getting like somebody was trying to fight you over the fact that you, be you believe in the most high. Come on, collective. Like somebody actually tried to like put you into some type of fight about your beliefs. 
the fact that you believe and they don't. But come on now, like the, the actions that they're taking towards you do not justify what they've done. They have targeted you for attack. They have declared war enough for your archangels, your ancestors, and the Most High God to protect you from evil energies. I don't care what they said they believe in. That was a lie. The devil was lying. The devil always lies. Okay, and you see that because you're higher front energy. You're called to see the energy that people hide. And that's another thing, being a chosen one, right? You have the ability to see past people's insecurities. They don't like that you see them. They want to they want to cover them up, especially this masculine over here, especially the Queen of Wands in reverse. You walk around with your insecurities on display. You can see them collective. You can see them very clear as day. Which is why people target you because they want you to stop talking about people's insecurities. To them, they're absolutely fine until you walked in the room. That makes you the problem to them, right? That's their problem. That is their problem that they have to deal with on their own. The Most High God has put you in the situation to be the leader in whatever this is. Friend dynamic, um, relationship dynamic, a job situation. Your spirituality is a confirmation of what I was telling you guys on my last reading, right? This has everything to do with your life purpose. I don't care who hates you for it. They can keep hating. Haters gonna hate. They only got one job. Let them do their job, Collective. Just hate. Just sit there. Now let the Most High do with you what you've got to do. Here's what somebody else did. This King of Swords in reverse because I told you this person is in direct opposition to your higher front energy. This person was trying to block you with the Ace of Wands and reverse energy. This is this masculine's energy. This is also male impotence. This person got shot down. They realized just how much of a leader that they're not. They realized just how much in control of the situation, whether they understood how much you were in control, that remains to be seen. I don't think that they will ever acknowledge it, but at the same time, this Ace of Wands and reverse energy, this is a lack of motivation. This is them trying to block you and to block your divine path. Absolutely. Absolutely not. Like I said, when they declare war on a chosen one, they declare war on your the most high God, your ancestors and your spirit gods. And this person was fighting a losing battle. Them trying to block you from what the most high God was trying to give you. I told you, collector, this came out on my last reading. This not a cut. Y'all, I don't make up the energy of what I get. This is why it's coming out so powerful. The fact that you took a leap of faith to cause a tower to prove you are the emperor energy backed up with your higher front and somebody tried to block it. Mm -mm. This is what the Most High gave to you. And my download, I, I saw a ring, like a, an actual ring. Okay, so some of you may be actually getting into divine partnerships. Congratulations. Let me know in the comments if that's you, okay? But others of you, this is a divine partnership with your spiritual life purpose. I'm getting an actual wedding ring. You are in your divine purpose. You feel it now. This is a confirmation for, for you, right? No matter the hatred, no matter how much the animosity keep going, this is what God has guided, guided you to do. You wouldn't be sitting here going through all this if this was not your life purpose. This is when you move in your highest light. Your light irritates people's demons, right? Your vibration naturally moves away the negativity, but continue to do what God has called you to do. This Knight of Cups is an invitation proposal that the Most High God gave you or any other person gave you on that actual spiritual loving tip. However that goes, somebody was actually trying to block it, okay? To give you some type of Ten of Swords, right? Some type of painful ending, backstab of betrayal. Somebody wanted to try to betray you to take you off your path. Ain't nothing but a demon triggered. Okay. Somebody was judging you heavy. And again, I'm still getting this energy of judging you for what you do, how you do it, how you talk, how you walk, your spiritual walk. The fact that you're a spiritualist and somebody is very religious or somebody just doesn't believe in the most high God period. Okay. Judging you about everything all because of their insecurities. It's not for you to continue to deal with collective, which is why your advice is to have the seven of cups in reverse. Find your focus and make the right choice because our last clarifier is this person, this King of Swords in Reverse energy carried five of cups. This person was disappointed that you showed them up. That's really what it is, is their insecurity on display. Every in Everybody in this particular situation, everybody is jealous of you. Everybody is insecure about you. Everybody want what you got, okay? People wonder why you don't stay down because it's not your life purpose to stay down. Honey, you got a higher calling. You have a higher purpose and you have the, the protection of the most high God, your spirit gods and your ancestors. Because when you walk around trying to block what God has given you, God, okay? Somebody trying to block what God has given you, your life purpose, the literal reason you were put here on this planet earth to do what God has told you to do for God's people, okay? Right? Because you believe in him, right? Collective, if somebody tries to block that, 
because they're not messing with you. They're messing with the most high God, your spirit gods, your ancestors, because you have divine protection and they wound up carrying this five of cups, some type of emotional loss, grief, disappointment. This person was trying to pitch you into an argument to get you to go back and forth. This feels like bait and you're like, you didn't fall for it because you took the seven of cups in reverse energy, right? So they carried the five of cups disappointment on their own. Mm -mm. The fact that the Most High put you in this situation, everybody knows who you are, you're a chosen one, and you're protected, okay? Let's get an Archaeo card to see what energy we're dealing with. Literally, a demon. Told you. Mm -mm. Try to declare war on a, on a chosen one. You done messed up, partner. You done messed up. The Most High God is not having it. The demon is contrary and complex, offering you a, a glimpse into the poison chalice without demanding that you drink. If you keep him at arm's length and take his insights and homeopathic doses, he will keep you protected from greed and envy. But his greatest contribution to your cause is to make it possible for you to recognize those who wish you malice. Yep. In many ways, the demon is the hardest archaeo to acknowledge, yet he is necessary. Without him, we will be utterly gullible. On one hand, he is a slippery manipulator. On the other, he helps us recognize dishonesty and duplicity, both in ourselves and in others. If you keep him contained, his familiarity with animosity will serve you well. But if you allow him to convince you that indulgence is your birthright, you will quickly lose your way. With one foot in the dark and the other dancing and blinding light, the demon is both tormentor and realist and thus an unpredictable teacher or ally. Certainly you must hold him at arm's length, but do not try to banish him. You do not want to make him a dire enemy. When taking his counsel, it will be wise to call upon the sage and the warrior for arbitration and protection. Remember your fascinations, addictions, and repulsions are your weaknesses, and he will try to play upon them even as he is warning you of an external threat. Yep, and this is what I'm telling you. Yeah, you had external threats all around you, all moving in demonic energy. It doesn't matter because you are divinely protected. Go ahead on, collective. All right, let's go ahead and get a gratitude oracle and we'll wrap it up. Card 25 talks about prayer. The energy of prayer is what I do feel because yes, you were dealing with demonic energies, people moving in their, in their energy of envy and jealousy. That is moved by a demonic spirit. So I am getting that somebody uh, prayed because you do believe in the most high God to continue to light your path so you can continue to light the way forward for other chosen ones that are out there on this journey, same as you. We're talking about the energy of prayer. Prayer does things. It is easy to get swept up in what is going on right in front of you. Looking beyond despair may be hard when you are in the thick of it. One way to stop yourself from spiraling downward is to pray. Prayer can shift your focus from upsets and mishaps and elevate your thoughts back to your spirituality. Think of prayer as a way to revitalize your devotion and remind you that you are an enlightened soul here to experience this earthly plane. Prayer may release your anxiety. When you pray, you may use meditation, mantras, affirmations, or conscious streaming as a way to raise your thoughts and connect to a higher source. You might consider reciting a prayer from your childhood or a chant that you have learned. During prayer, you may become aware that things are weighing on your soul. You will find that this weight is lessened or eliminated as prayer is a way to recharge your spirituality. Prayer is not merely a request to make your life better or for assistance for something else. Prayer is a space for clearing your conscience, reflecting on your dreams, opening yourself to guidance, and letting go of burdens. You can pray through appreciation and thanksgiving. Gratefully acknowledging the gift of your life can be prayer as well. It may not be easy to work through the challenges, but prayer can diminish the strife and make difficulties easier. A prayer of gratitude reaffirms your blessings. Okay, collective, gratitude in all things, okay? And this is where I'm, I'm getting, you know, the you know the, the energy here, like prayer does things. It's like, you know, what, what God has given you, no man can put asunder, right? That, that ring that I got in the vision, right? And the fact that no weapon formed against you shall prosper in all things, not some things, but all things work together for those who love him. All right, collective, that's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.